countdown to 25 Days of Christmas is on. Yes! And the biggest adventure. Countdown to 25 Days of Christmas. Sherlock the Unabominable Bride. This is one that it kind of depends on your point of view, I guess. You can classify it as a Christmas special, or you can classify it as like a one-off special for Sherlock. And in case all of you don't know, which I'm pretty sure that you do know, but just in case, Sherlock, not Sherlock Holmes, the Robert Downey Jr. movie, Sherlock the BBC show is a kind of newer take on Sherlock. Sherlock played by Benedict Cumberbatch and Watson played by Martin Freeman of all people and yeah it's just pretty much the original stories of Sherlock in a modern day setting and there's three seasons each with three episodes so yeah I just go and watch it this special however just came out last year and lo and behold man this special's not that bad does it have to do a lot with christmas no but neither does it's a wonderful life really just think about this for a second it's a wonderful life throughout the movie there's hardly a mention of christmas it only happens like at the very end where he's like merry christmas merry merry you know jimmy stewart it's only at the very end where it's actually has tie-ins with christmas here <clears throat> there's tons of little easter eggs of christmas like um his sherlock's brother is keeps on eating figgy pudding making just being fat you know but yeah it's really no time with Christmas necessarily, but it does have a tie-in with Christmas a little bit. But anyway, I mean, honestly, I love Sherlock. So honestly, I'm going to put this on the list. Because if it has a little bit to do with Christmas, I'm putting it on the list anyway. Be and um, yeah, anyway. Does it get you like all the warm fuzzies of the Christmas spirit? I wouldn't say so, because it, again, hardly has anything to do with Christmas, but it does give you more of a lead-in with Sherlock, with Sherlock Holmes, I guess. It gives you more of a, what you expect Sherlock Holmes to be, I guess. It takes place in the 1890s, okay? It takes... He's got the hat on, he's got all the stuff, you know. Honestly though, I put this on the list, not just because it has a little bit of Christmas in it, but it also ha it's also a great episode. And it's on the list, why? Because it's my list and I do what I please, so there you go. So there you go. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night.